welcome to another video about Figma and today we are going to create a responsive model window or you can say a complex auto layout in using Figma. So let's get started. I'm going to show you first what we will be building and I'm going to show you techniques how you can achieve a responsive window or a card, a UI card you can build using Figma. So let's get started. So you can see on the screen we have responsive model window auto layout and uh, this is the model window we have built so if we try to squeeze it from the right you can see it is fully responsive uh, the buttons and the close icon is staying at the top and at the bottom at their fixed positions and text is actually squeezing with the box so this is very easy to create uh, I have to show you what are the actually the layers inside it. So we have buttons. So two buttons are inside uh, auto frames and then they are combined into another auto frame. So we are going to create that. So let's get started. First we are going to create our button. Press T uh, and I'm going to have this delete. Uh, add an auto layout to this one. Shift A. So we have auto layout added. Let's add fill color over here and this time we are going to use this red color and for the text we are going to use white color so here we have our basic uh, button and you can see this is the padding around the item and this is the spacing between the for the next item so let's try to uh, use the padding of 8 16 uh, 20 at the right let's use 20 over here and let's use 8 over here so this is going to be my button uh, let's add some rounded corners eight pixels uh, over here let's use four okay so here we have our decent uh, button let's use 10 i'm going to use 10 and 10 at the top and bottom so we have some good sized but button okay so we have our button uh, let's call it btn uh, and let's replicate it by pressing uh, or holding our alt or option key and replicating it and i'm going to place it um, let's say 16 pixels apart and this time i'm going to change its color to this color and this is going to be cancel right now you can see we have set it to hug content so that is why it is actually expanding uh, by changing its um, content so it will always uh, accommodate its contents and expand and contract uh, when we have this setting uh, which is hug, hug contents. Okay, so we have our both buttons. Let's uh, wrap them in inside an other uh, auto layout. So shift A, I have selected both of these. Shift A, this is really important. Uh, so this is buttons. So till now we have created two auto layout buttons within another buttons frame which is auto layout frame and we have combined them into both of them so you can see here we have the auto layout direction horizontal so if we add another button it is going to be on the right uh, and this is the space between them so if you want to control the space like 12 pixels or 10 pixels between them then you can do that over here so we have our buttons ready okay now we need text and one icon so here we have our button let's uh, use some heading uh, heading will be over here and it will be a long one let's try to use uh, bold and let's use 24 and i'm going to replicate this again uh, this is let's try to use uh, paragraph so t so i'm going to use a frame like this like this and uh, let's try to see if we have this is a box and i'm going to use control back as forward slash lorem plus and let's try to add some text over here English words paragraph let's add two paragraphs over here 
Okay, so this is our paragraph. Let's use 16 over here for this 16. And we are going to use regular. And let's use one paragraph. I think I should delete the second one. So I'm going to skip all these settings. This is just. So let's use something over here like this or maybe something like this okay uh, so we have our text uh, paragraph which is this one oops this one and heading two buttons and now we are going to add um, an icon over here let's add an icon looks it icons cross icon we are going to add another icon over here for the close button so let's use close so this time let's use this one so this is our button uh, let's try to use this color maybe this one to close this window so we have this circle over here let's Okay, so now we are going to select all of them and press shift and A to add an auto layout. So you can see now auto layout has been added. Let's call it model. And um, we have to add a fill color, which is going to be white. Uh, and uh, we need to have some padding over here. So 16 at the top. Let's say 24 at the left, 24 at the right, and 16 at the bottom. So you can see we have the basic layout of our model window. Let's use some uh, rounded corners. Let's use some shadow around it. 10% um, shadow. Blur is going to be 2. And this is going to be 1. So we, we added a very light shadow around it. Okay, so now uh, you can see we have to use something that is going to be this layout. So I have selected this model model, and we are going to use right layout. So to bring these buttons and everything at the right. So you can see these buttons and this text, uh, this uh, bottom buttons and this corner uh, one has been moved to the right. So this is how you are going to uh, achieve that. So first step is this. And then if we try to squeeze this, you can see the text is not responsive. It is going outside of the box. So to achieve that, we have to click the text and rather than fix width, we are going to use fill container. Similarly for this one, this is going to be fill container. So you can see now it has already been uh, filling the container. So we have to just use this and you can see there our responsive uh, box and our text is actually squeezing with it and you can see the distance between these two is actually um, uh, controlled from here so we have 10 so if I try to reduce oops uh, not the buttons but the model window so we have 23 let's use 16 and it is going to be like this and uh, so this is the so if you want to control uh, more things you can give them another auto layout so i have selected both of these text and i am going to give them more auto layout and rather than hug contents we have to use the fill container again and uh, here we can control the spacing between just the text so you can see uh, for example i want it to be like this and now if i try to select and squeeze it oops what is happening uh, the frame is actually where's the frame I think the, the text has been shifted again so we have to do the fill container and fill container again so this is another way so right now my text is actually inside both of these texts are inside another auto layout you can see over here text uh, within another auto layout you can do the same with 
uh, without this auto layout but I love to uh, you know control the spacing between my different items so this is how you can do that so this sums up our model window where we are creating a responsive model window which is going to be squeezed and expanded and the text will be wrapping around uh, with all the borders or the spacing or padding around it I hope you have loved or enjoyed this auto layout video make sure you watch my other courses uh, classes video classes and YouTube videos uh, I will meet you in another video till then take care bye bye